Hey Shooby Doodlers, does life follow art or does art follow life? Well today I have had a delivery. I'm just opening it up. It is all about this shirt. It's a Bowden shirt. I just clicked and went to see their sale and I thought, oh I like that shirt. That's kind of quite me. It's got little daisies on it, little flowers. It's it's, it's quite me. So, um, and it comes with a free gift. That's maybe not quite so much me. It's kind of a handbag makeup thing. So what has this got to do with anything? I have a totally new project that I'm, I've been thinking about for a very long time. Um, it's called Penny and Benny. And I wrote a book with these two characters in it. And I've been thinking, how do I do this? There's a big problem. Is it a book for grown-ups or is it a book for children? It's actually a book for families, really. So I've been thinking, I need to build something family-ish. I had to decide who Penny and Benny are and, uh, and kind of create personas for them. And and in a strange way, they're a little bit of me, but they're a little bit of other people I know. And every now and then I get, oh yeah, it's like them. And I see that those people do something good. Mm, that's a bit Penny, that's a bit Benny. If you click up here, you will see uh, a thing I started about children's books, uh, about creating a children's books. And you'll see that they're actually um, humans. And as I was working on that project, it just stopped. It just came to a halt. It just didn't feel right. And then one day I realized they should be animals and they should be a cat and a dog. The cat is the woman, the dog is the boy. <laughs> or the man and the boy, the boy and the man. And then it, the whole thing just started working. So so they're very, very human. In the end, I decided Penny is going to be like, she's in, she's, she's in marketing, whatever that means. I don't think anybody really knows what marketing is. She's in marketing, uh, but she wants to be a blogger and she wants to be a fashion blogger and so that's what she's doing and Benny is he does something in computers you know. <laughs> so he does something online something to do with cyber security or something like that Penny's half thinks that maybe he works for the secret services or something. <laughs> but he's got to work away in his little room all day on his laptop and they're very much in love and they're kind of live this thing and so he runs the website for her and they kind of blog about their life and he blogs a bit and she blogs a bit and and she's obsessed with Bowdoin clothing okay right <laughs> why I figured that that's kind of the people who are likely to buy want to buy this book and who would kind of understand this book and it's a kind of a demographic and and I think if you are marketing I suppose that's that's what I'm doing marketing if you're marketing a book really ideally you should think about the market before you actually write the book and write the book for that market and in a way that's what I've done I've rewritten and rewritten and adapted it with this kind of avatar of a Bowdoin family in my mind so so that's so I thought that's it she's obsessed with Bowdoin clothing and and so there'll be a lot about Bowdoin clothing on the website but she's also obsessed with fashion generally particularly sort of 50s and 60s and 70s fashion so there's going to be a lot of that going on why is that happening because recently through doing this I've kind of rediscovered an interest in fashion. Uh, and when I was 13, um, I remember I was leafing through a Sunday colour supplement in a, in a newspaper and, and I came across this spread of Yves Saint Laurent and it was when he brought out the velvet jacket. So this was 1970 or something like that. And, and there was just something about it just blew my mind. Wow, fantastic. I have to have a velvet jacket. And my mum made me a brilliant, brilliant velvet jacket out of out of old Victorian curtains, and it, I I just wore it to pieces. I loved that that jacket, and and that just kind of fired an interest in in fashion. When I did my O levels, which is kind of a, a exams you take when you're about sixteen, in my history we all had to do projects, and I did mine on women's fashion. This was a boys' school. And so I got ribbed a little bit and the teachers just didn't know what to do with me because they didn't know anything about it. And so I was kind of always into fashion. I, I used to sew stuff and embroider stuff in my teens and things. <laughs> and and it's just suddenly kind of re rekindled that interest. Uh, so that's all sort of come together. And I want to do something new. I want to do something new and different. And publishing, I think, has kind of reached a point where it's just so oversubscribed. I think that's to kind of be a new way of kind of involving, I don't know. So I just kind of feel this is kind of a new thing that I feel I've got to do. Um, and so I've set up, uh, so there's Penny and Benny. I've set up the Penny and Penny blog. I set up the Penny and Benny Instagram yesterday. 
So I've got 22 followers already, which is pretty good. So immediately I'm into a story where, where Penny has bought this shirt for Benny. It's not a Christmas present. She just liked it and it was it was in the sale. It was in the online sale. So today she's been waiting for it to arrive and it's arrived. So around right about now, after supper, she's going to give him his shirt and uh, and then he's going to respond with a blog post going hey guess what i got this fantastic new shirt <laughs> so uh, so what i got to do now is uh, I, i've got to draw benny in his new shirt going hey how fantastic so which i can put on the blog and i can put onto instagram to be able to do this i need this really kind of fast style and i need to really really know these characters that i can just draw them um so that's what it's all about so now i'm going to show you drawing benny going hey let's see what you think while i go and put the shirt on and see if it fits i'm just kind of planning this out roughly i'm going to want to have arms coming out kind of like that and an attitude so um the story is that penny has um gone and bought benny <laughs> a new shirt he's <laughs> he's not very good at shopping himself and um and when they kind of first found each other he really kind of did most of his shopping in diy stores kind of buying lumberjack shirts and builders boots with steel toe caps that sort of thing and uh and now uh penny is getting him more kind of organized so he's got uh he's got his nice new shirt and uh so it's, i know it's nearly christmas and she could have got it for him for christmas um but she didn't she just wanted to give him a nice new shirt because it was in the sale and it's an oxford button down shirt and um so we want that button down and then we're gonna have him going ta-da look what i got <laughs> uh, so this is what we're kind of gonna do and and i'm really thinking about this for instagram and uh and so i'm not kind of worried too much no it's got a pocket yeah so it's got a pocket uh so he's gonna go da -da -da. and you know i've been thinking about how we're gonna draw their hands <laughs> and so i'm gonna i'm kind of ignoring that really because that's going to be a nightmare as time goes on thinking about how to how do i how do i draw their hands Basically, I'm not letting the hands bother me. If I start really kind of focusing on the hands, then everything else goes to pot. And I'm sure the more that I draw them, you know, these kind of things will get set in stone as time goes on. I mean, this is ridiculous, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so I have got my tiny little set of paints here. I could use a fancy paint set and a fancy paintbrush, but I decided that Penny and Benny are all about the moment. And, and the illustrations are all going to be about the moment. It's not going to be spending hours and hours and hours doing fancy, fancy, schmancy uh, illustration. It's kind of do it there and then kind of stuff. And it's about, it's all about the moment. <laughs> That's exactly what it's all about. And this shirt has got tiny little um, daisies printed all over it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting those, that daisy pattern in with a white China graph glass marking pencil. So this is very, very waxy. And when I paint over it, all the little white dots will magically appear <laughs> through. Got a nice little ring underneath. So I can stick that on my thumb and, and just kind of paint with it. This is neutral tint, which is what I use for my greys and things. And as you can see then, as I paint over all those little white spots that I put in there, um, they all come showing through. So I don't have to kind of paint each individual spot. And again, this is all about the moment. You know, if I had to then afterwards start painting in all those little spots and it would lose some of the freshness and the, you know, the get on ability of that. <laughs> get on ability, There's the just get on and do it ability of the whole thing, um, which I want to have that kind of looseness and freshness about the whole thing there's his new shirt a little bit of brown so i'm going to stick this in over and around his eye there and then it just sort of comes half around his eye <laughs> this is something kind of i've just been developing and i kind of know what he is now and i know kind of where to put these things i need a little bit of pink around there maybe in his cheeks and 
maybe just a bit there and then I'm going to need some quite stronger um, neutral tint for his nose so that's going to be kind of shiny like that and then I want a bit of sort of shade in underneath there as well and we want a little bit of blue in his eyes just to kind of give that sort of somethingness to the eye there and maybe a little on his teeth too and I think we probably want this to be a bit darker underneath there and in under there and maybe around like that um, so I'm going to actually put in like oh that's much too dark wait a minute let me kind of wash that down so it's just kind of a bit of a kind of shadow in there like that and then you probably won't ever get to see his jeans like that so I'm just going to put something in there for his jeans I think maybe a ding 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 and I'm going to write on here as well I think I have to do quite a lot of kind of writing on things so that I remember exactly what they were <laughs> so I think I need to kind of keep these records of, of, of what it's all about as, as the whole thing goes on because because my intention is that this is I'm going to be sort of doing this for a long long time and and I hope everyone's going to join along with me and think it's fun too oh that's my supper time hey I, I really like it do you want to see it's a really nice heavyweight material actually it kind of almost feels like linen but I think it's it's definitely cotton and oh I still got bits of cardboard in there that's why it kind of feels a bit weird <laughs> there we are oh that's a bit softer there we go so here we are I've got Benny's shirt on which is this life is this reality is this life art I don't know what it is it's fun that's what I know and, and it's kind of re-energized me and I'm kind of really kind of enjoying doing this so tomorrow I've got to do a blog for them and that's going to be all about their Christmas jumpers. And, uh, and so now I'm going to show you how I drew them putting their Christmas jumpers on. I have to think about the two characters that are coming together and creating a little scene uh, of what's going on. So uh, here we go. This is drawing Benny and Penny in their Christmas jumpers. And I'm trying different papers and things. This is uh, De La Rowney Langton Mold Made. So this is a quite a smooth finish and I quite like this actually, I quite enjoyed doing that. So there's various different papers I'm going to be experimenting with. Am I a little bit obsessed with Bowden clothing? I suppose I am a little bit. <laughs> I, need him to, I need to concentrate here. Oh, I don't believe it, I didn't press record. <laughs> so, so anyway, here is Benny and he's putting on his jumper and then Penny is kind of finding it slightly amusing. Um, because he's getting it down over his head. We all have that problem with jumpers sometimes. And here we have little dogs. So I'm having to kind of think about this. It's going to be something like that. And then we need another one which is going to be the same. So I'll zip through this. And then here we have a kind of little dachshund kind of uh, sausage dog with a party hat on. <laughs> and can we do something similar? and we'll probably see a bit like that and then here we're going to want to have a little party hat same thing going on and then the bottom one is like a little scotty dog now i made a little mistake there so i'm just sort of covering that up i made a mistake here as well which i'm going to fix in photoshop i'm kind of not that bothered about that we need a little bit of kind of expression and kind of movement in here so i'm going to do that and then it's time to paint again get some bits when I painted one part and I'm letting it dry then I can get on with another part with the other character so I'm gonna have a little bit of kind of red in here because he's slightly embarrassed I need to clean the palette there a bit clean the brush so we can paint Penny here and her hand and her tail which probably needs some kind of swishy marks in as well isn't it <laughs> probably some tail wagging going on there as well this is quite a grey jumper. It's quite unusual for a Christmas jumper, isn't it? I think you think of Christmas jumpers being quite bright and sort of reds and blues and things. So this is quite a fancy, artistic kind of Christmas jumper. <laughs> Have you got a Christmas jumper? Do you wear a Christmas jumper? Um, I don't. I don't. I know. I think there's a hot. I'm out of touch, aren't I? I think there's a whole kind of charity Christmas jumper thing goes on isn't there um, 
I find that kind of, I'm not quite sure about that myself because I don't know you know I think they do some really cheap Christmas jumpers which just kind of get worn once and thrown away which just I don't know that just seems a bit wasteful to me so I think if you're going to have a Christmas jumper it ought to be a Christmas jumper is for life and not just for Christmas <laughs> because it doesn't help if you do have it for life and you suddenly find your waist expanding or anything like that and maybe suddenly you find your Christmas jumper doesn't fit but if it's a good one of course you can hand it down as an heirloom <laughs> heirloom Christmas jumpers there we go I think the other problem is I think we used to have Christmas jumpers big big thick woolly ones and because it was cold at Christmas time and but it's one thing it doesn't seem to be quite as cold as it used to be and two well, we all have central heating now, don't we? And so you really don't want to be in a great big heavy Christmas jumper. So, but it's all part of the Christmas fun, isn't it? There we go. He's coming along nicely. A little bit of shadow there, I think. We're going to need a little bit of shadow underneath there as well. And we're going to want some brown in the antlers and some bright red so you want some scarlet red just need a little bit more water in that just a bit more flowing through the brush there we go and i think if i just do a little bit of blue i think that's going to be i think that's benny done really maybe the nose like that and the eyes and there's a kind of a spottiness about this alpaca <laughs> reindeer thing and then penny this is going to be much more complicated so we want a kind of a salmony pink so i'm going to add a bit of naples to some red there and then we need to come around around the dog like that so we keep the white parts white we're going to see a bit of that up there as well and then we're going to want a little bit of red there we need a bit there as well so that's coming up there this is red and there's going to be a little white scotty dog so oh that's too red i think so it's going to be coming around so we'll leave this go around the outside of the little scotty dog and we need to do that like that yeah and we stick that in and then the rest is a soft dove gray so i can just do that so they're kind of matchy don't they and i'm going to give her quite dark blue pants I want to get that in around there a bit as well so add a little bit of kind of shade in there we're going to want a bit of shade oh that's too much so I'm going to let that kind of come in underneath there so she's going to have some shape like that it's got some blue in there has made it slightly sort of cerisey purple we need little red kind of bow ties or something underneath there and we need this to be red under here as well so each of these little dogs has a, a red collar and we want them to be a sandy color benny's tail wagging away down there there we are that's all painted right now i can scan it and turn it into a blog post and uh, an instagram well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did i hope you're going to want to be following along with penny and benny i'm going to be showing you quite a lot more of them over the next few weeks as i'm going to be launching the book on kickstarter and all sorts of exciting things uh, i'm going to sort of bring you along you can see what it's all about in the meantime keep your shirt on keep drawing 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 <laughs> practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye